Keep it a hundred, I'd rather you trust me than to love me. Keep it a whole one. What's up, y'all? So today I'm making this roasted pepper chicken. So if you would like to see how I make it and find out the recipe, follow this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is roast my peppers. So if you have bell pepper, use that. I don't have any, I have um, the small mini sweet peppers, so I'm gonna use that instead. So you could use like one or two whole bell peppers and then just slice them like in half and roast them. So I'm gonna put it in the oven and roast it. And try to like take you know some of the seeds and the inside out and then I'm gonna drizzle it with some olive oil so drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and then I'm gonna sprinkle it with some salt and black pepper and then put it in the oven to roast so guys I'm roasting it in the oven at 450 degrees for about five to ten minutes until it has those nice charred marks on it so I'm also gonna put full cloves of garlic to roast with the pepper okay guys so while the peppers and the garlic is roasting we're gonna season our chicken all right so I'm using chicken drumsticks with the skin on you can use this recipe with chicken wings you could even use a whole chicken and bake it this way too. I'm using chicken drumsticks, all right? So I'm gonna, in here, I have one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon garlic powder, one teaspoon salt, um, a teaspoon of Mrs. Dash Original Blend Seasoning, half a teaspoon of grog cumin, and one teaspoon of paprika all right and I'm just gonna pour that all over my chicken and season it okay I'm also gonna add in about two tablespoons of green seasoning all right all right so just mix the seasoning into the chicken all right and let this marinate for at least one hour but preferably as I always say overnight because the longer your chicken and meat marinate the more flavor and the best it tastes so mix it really well and let it marinate for at least an hour okay y'all so my peppers and garlic is finished roasted all right as you can see so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put all the peppers and the garlic in my Nutribullet or a blender or a food processor either one works fine Just put it in here and we're gonna blend it until it's like a puree basically If you need to add like a little bit of water like just a little bit of water to help the blending process You could do that. Okay, so I'm gonna blend it and I'll be back Okay, so here's the roasted uh, peppers and garlic I'll blend it up so now I have about a stick of butter here melted and I'm gonna add the peppers to it and just give that a mix to blend it together Like I said, I prefer to use red bell peppers when doing that, but I'm out, so I'm using what I got. Times is, you know, difficult right now, so if you guys have red bell pepper, use that instead. So, I got my baking dish and I sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray, and I'm adding in the pieces of seasoned marinated chicken. Now you see all of that 
seasoning in the bowl. I'm gonna try to get as much out as I can because that's flavor. And you don't wanna throw away flavor. I mean, you can put it in your pot or in your food and get delicious good food in there. So I'm just gonna scrape it and add it. Okay, so here is the butter mixture, butter and pepper mixture. Now I'm going to take a brush, right? So I'm just taking a brush. If you don't have a brush, you could just pour it on there. That's fine. And brush yes. the pepper mixture on there. Yes. If you're going to pour it, just reserve a little bit for the ending because we're going to need some yeah. after the chicken is fully cooked. Yes, we are. So, we are in a minute. You don't have to brush it, you could just do like this. Yeah. Then you use a spoon to spread it out. Yeah, just make sure you coat the chicken in the butter pepper mixture like this and then I'm gonna put it into the oven to bake at 400 degrees for about an hour to an hour and a half until the chicken is tender and almost falling off the bone all right you guys so it's been about 30 minutes and here's how my chicken is looking it's looking good it smells even better it smells so good so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna flip them to the other side. And I'm gonna take my sauce again and brush the top of it. You could, if there's any in the pan, you can use that too and brush it. All right, so now I'm gonna put it back into the oven to finish cooking. All right, you guys, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes, so to an hour and a half. I kinda lost count, but here's the chicken. It's fully cooked, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm taking the uh, mixture, and this is what I have left, and it looks like this, cause I, Put it in the fridge while the chicken was baking so the butter got a little hard so if you want you can put it back into the microwave but i'm just gonna brush the top of the chicken with it and then i turn i'm turning my oven setting up to uh the broiler setting 500 degrees and I'm gonna put it back for about five minutes. I just wanted to get a little crispy and just get a nice glaze from the sauce and that is it for our roasted pepper chicken. Don't forget, if you run out of the butter, you could use the sauce in the pan, okay? So five more minutes in the oven. Okay guys, so yeah, and here's my chicken. If you want yours a little bit more crispy, you could leave it for a little bit longer to get nice and crispy, but this right here is good for me. I still got a little sauce in the pan, so this is perfect. So yeah guys, that is it for this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you give the recipe a try. And I will see you next time.